Hello viewers, in today's session we are going to discuss an important representation of uh, the Dirac Delta function, right? So in this class uh, we'll discuss uh, this representation of uh, the Delta function that is Delta of X is equal to 1 over 2 pi and the integral from minus infinity to infinity e raised to i k x d k, right? So here I uh, will uh, prove this expression uh, with the help of the concept of uh, Fourier transform and the inverse Fourier transform, right? So in our previous uh, videos and lectures, we have already seen uh, about the uh, different uh, representation of Dirac delta function, right? So uh, let us start. So viewers, so we have already discussed a lot about the definition of delta function in our previous videos. But just for the sake of uh, revision, uh, let us define the delta function that is delta of x is equal to infinity for x is equal to 0 and delta x is equal to uh, 0 for all x not equal to 0, right? And we can also define the uh, delta function by this integral that is minus infinity to infinity uh, delta x dx is equal to 1, right? And sometimes we also uh, write this integral that is minus infinity to infinity and if we have a function say f of x associated with the, the delta function then the value of this integral is given by f of 0, right? So here uh, we have these three uh, representation or the definition or the expression uh, for uh, the Dirac delta function, right? So uh, let us come to uh, this problem. But before uh, proving this, let us quickly define the Fourier transform and the inverse Fourier transform of uh, a function. Suppose we have a function say f of x, right? Then the Fourier transform of the function f of x is uh, defined by this integral that is minus infinity to infinity. We have f of x e raised to minus uh, i k x and here we have dx, right? And the notation for the Fourier transform of this function f of x is given by f of k, right? So this is the uh, definition of Fourier transform of some function f of x. Let us define uh, the inverse uh, Fourier transform of the function f of x, right? So the inverse Fourier transform of f of x uh, is denoted by f inverse and here we have uh, f of k and then uh, here we have f of x and here we have the coefficient 1 over 2 pi and the integral minus infinity to infinity and here we have f of k and e raised to i k x uh, d k, right? So this is the definition of Fourier transform. This is the definition of inverse Fourier transform and we'll uh, make use of these two definition uh, to arrive uh, this uh, representation of the uh, Dirac delta function. So now let us uh, replace this function f of x uh, by the delta function that is delta of x. So the Fourier transform of the delta function is given by uh, this uh, expression. So we have the Fourier transform and here we have f and here we have delta x, right? So we uh, will replace f of x by the delta function and here we have minus infinity to infinity and for f of x we can now write delta x and here we have minus i k x dx right so now uh, we have to evaluate uh, this integral and this integral uh, can easily be uh, evaluated by uh, using this definition 
Now see, uh, we can write this integral as minus infinity to infinity. We have e raised to minus i k x and uh, we can write here a delta of x. So now uh, we know that if we have an integral say from minus infinity to infinity and we have some function say g of x and here we have a delta of x minus a dx then the value of this integral is equal to the value of this function g of x at this point that is x is equal to a right because the delta function is uh, not equal to uh, this point that is x is equal to a and uh, other than uh, this point x is equal to a the delta function is uh, zero right so the value of this integral is given by uh, g of a right so if we compare this integral with this one then here we have uh, this function as g of x and here we have delta of x which can be written as delta of x minus zero right so the value of a is uh, zero here so the uh, value of this integral uh, due to this result is given by g of zero because a is equal to zero now g of 0 is uh, it can be obtained by uh, taking x is equal to 0 so we have e raised to minus i k times 0 so here we have e raised to 0 that is equal to 1 right so we have obtained a very important result that is the Fourier transform of the delta function delta of x is given by or it is equal to uh, 1 right so now I uh, will uh, take up this uh, definition of inverse Fourier transform so now uh, let us take uh, this expression for inverse uh, Fourier transform right so here we have f of x and we have uh, assumed that f of x is equal to delta of x so let us replace uh, f of x by delta of x so we have delta of x and then here we have the inverse uh, Fourier transform of uh, this delta function so we have f of k here and then we have 1 over 2 pi and here we have minus infinity to infinity and uh, here uh, the Fourier transform of the delta function uh, is given by 1 right so uh, replacing uh, this Fourier transform by 1 so here we have 1 and then we have e raised to i k x and here we have dk right so now uh, delta x is uh, equal to 1 over 2 pi and minus infinity to infinity and here 1 times this function is equal to e raised to i k x uh, dk right and this is uh, the required representation of the Dirac delta function so we can also uh, write this expression by uh, multiplying the delta function by 2 pi so we can also write the integral minus infinity to infinity and e raised to i k x d k is equal to uh, 2 times uh, delta of x right so this is also an important uh, expression uh, related to the Dirac delta function right so yes this is how uh, we can uh, obtain uh, this expression by making use of the definition of the Fourier transform and the inverse Fourier transform.